It's your first album under a new deal with Columbia Records, uh, your own label, Grand Hustle Records, right? Joined with Columbia. Yes, we Tell did. Tell me about that. Man, it's an awesome partnership. Uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, align ourselves with Columbia and Sony, for that matter. And uh, for this project, we have had the most, uh, how can I say, creative freedom and just ability to kind of just do whatever inspires us creatively in music and in the uh, the visual presentation. You didn't have that with Atlantic? Well, we did, but it was more of a corporate structure. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I won't say more of a corporate structure. It was. It felt like more of a business. It felt like more of a business, whereas this, it feels like the artist first, and then the business will fall in line with That's the artist. That's pretty art. interesting, because Columbia is a big company. It is, it is. But they have, like, you know, very, very, uh, I guess, eloquently... Uh, different approaches to marketing and, and marketing their music. Let's say like Daft Punk. Who else would have thought to take a French EDM band and mix it, mix them with American music and take them double platinum here? Who would have taken Adele to 30 million? Who would have allowed Beyonce to drop her album the way she did the last time and supported it? Who could take Pharrell and take a song like Happy and make it in all format number one success? Did they come to you? Uh, and man, yeah, as a matter of fact, they did by way of for real. Did you have a bad departure from Atlantic? No, 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 no. I still have a lot of love, admiration, and respect for all of my colleagues and friends over there. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.